Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in for a jaw-dropping revelation that will leave you questioning the integrity of a certain prince and his enigmatic wife. Today, we dive into the shocking saga of Prince Harry's alleged attempt to infiltrate the sanctity of King Charles's recovery, armed with a Netflix camera and a questionable agenda. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So now, reports have surfaced suggesting that Prince Harry, in a brazen move that reeks of audacity, tried to defy all boundaries by attempting to stay with King Charles at Sandringham after the monarch's cancer diagnosis. The audacious plan was apparently foiled by palace aides, who feared that if Harry set foot in Sandringham, they would never get rid of him. Let that sink in. The man who claims to love his family so much that he flew across the Atlantic for a heartfelt chat with his ailing father was reportedly barred from staying with him. Instead, he was directed to Clarence House in London for what was supposed to be a short face-to-face -face meeting. But hold on, there's more to this bizarre tale. According to insiders, Harry spent a mere 30 minutes with the king during his visit, with a total visitation time of 45 minutes inside Clarence House. The fear, it seems, was not just about the king's health, but the looming possibility of Harry overstaying his welcome at Sandringham. Can you believe the nerve of Prince Harry? The audacity to force his way into the personal space of a recovering king with a Netflix camera in tow. One can't help but wonder what grand spectacle he intended to capture on film. A heart-to-heart -heart chat with Charles, or perhaps an orchestrated movement of familial unity. The mind boggles at the potential motives behind this brazen attempt. It's not just the alleged attempt to infiltrate the royal recovery that raises eyebrows, it's the swift exit that followed. Moments after Harry bid adieu, the king and Queen Camilla were reportedly whisked away in a Bentley to a helicopter at Buckingham Palace, making a speedy retreat to Sandringham. Harry, on the other hand, was left to find refuge in a London hotel, perhaps contemplating his next move. The irony here is thick enough to cut with a knife. Prince Harry claims to love his family, yet his actions tell a different tale. The brief rendezvous with his father, touted as a gesture and a cause for optimism, seems more like a calculated move to maintain a semblance of familial ties while jetting off to his wife Meghan and their children soon after. And let's not forget the timing of it all. A pre-Super Bowl party in Las Vegas and a trip to Canada to promote the Invictus Games shortly after spending just over a day in the United Kingdom. One might argue that family emergencies take precedence, but it appears that Harry had other priorities on his agenda. In a recent US TV interview, Prince Harry expressed his gratitude for seeing his father and pledged to visit more frequently in 2024. Color me skeptical, but after this latest escapade, no one can help but question the sincerity behind such promises. Is this an attempt to salvage a tarnished public image, or is it a genuine commitment to familial bonds? In conclusion, the alleged antics of Prince Harry attempting to infiltrate King Charles's recovery with a Netflix camera in tow raise serious questions about his motives and sincerity. The royal family deserves better than a member who seems more interested in crafting a narrative than in genuine connections. As the saga unfolds, one thing is clear. The plot thickens, and the public deserves the unfiltered truth behind this shocking tale of attempted intrusion and hasty retreat. So, what do you guys think about this news? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now!